Grace Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ba ding. TNT. I uh-huh. wanted to uh, round table again about Mr. Watson from Browns. There's Mr. New... Mr. Watson. Mr. Watson, Deshaun Watson, the serial sexual abuser, allegedly. Alleged serial sexual abuser. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they ended up settling. Yeah. Eleven game suspension and a five million dollar fine. Eleven game suspension. So that's he'll come back and play six games. I thought. I thought. Wait, hold on. I thought he was only getting a six game suspension. He got a, They, they came out with a six game ex, uh, suspension. The NFL appealed it, appealed, saying, yeah, and then they came to an agreement to settle it where he would take 11 games and a $5 million fine. Wait, how is that a deal? That's not an appeal. That's not what appeals do. NFL was appealing saying it wasn't enough. <laughs> they weren't trying to reduce it. They were trying that's, to increase yeah, okay, it. Yeah, that's what which, which we talked about in the, in the previous thing. Yeah, yeah, but I thought it was the other way around. Right, right. I don't know. So, I guess. So, uh, well, because there's the NFL and the NFL Players Association. So, yeah. the, the Players Association got the six... NFL's like, yo, we talked about that in the other episode, why that was not... I mean, they were suspending people for, like, weed violations for multiple years yeah, yeah. and indefinitely. This dude's, like, allegedly serial abusing women. <laughs> allegedly. All right, so here's what I wanted to bring up. I wanted to do a test. So I found a post on Reddit Uh-oh. where somebody was like, hey, this Deshaun Watson stuff really disgusts me. Here's wow. a link... Here's email addresses for all of the Browns and NFL sponsors. Contact oh, yeah. their company. Okay. So I was like, let me send a blanket email just saying, hey, I disapprove of this. I'm not going to use your stuff to see what kind of replies I got back. You, you said that. I did this, yes. Okay. All right. You felt strongly about this. Well, I, I mean, I don't like it, but I, I want, this was more of an experiment just nope. to see what happens, right? Sure. Okay, sure. So, so like... I, I, most, I just got a reply back, auto reply. Hey, we've received a correspondence from you, like whatever. So USAA, the car insurance company, is a sponsor. I don't know if it was the NFL or the Browns, one or the other. So basically, I just sent a thing saying, hey, it, it sucks that, you, that you're supporting this person uh, wow. you who, barely, who, barely got, um, who barely got any sort of penalty and that it's it, – it, uh, and that uh, – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not use your services. I'm going to try to get my family and friends not to use your services. Just blanket statements. Okay, like that. okay. So I first got her. The, the one of the only real responses I got was from USA. And uh, a couple, like one person just said, oh, we take this seriously. We'll, we'll send it out. So they, uh, I got a first reply that said, hey, this has been to the wrong place. We're going to escalate this, right? So, so mind you, in this email, I said, I'm not going to use your services anymore, and I'm going to get other people not to use your services. Da, 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 da. I, got it, I got a response back from executive communications at USAA.com. Okay, sure. What did they have to say? She then? says, dear Jonas, thank you for reaching out and sharing your thoughts. We appreciate your feedback. Sincerely, Janae Garcia, USAA CEO <laughs> member <laughs> relations. <laughs> That's all you got. Didn't even address what I said. That's Nothing about how I'm not going to use their services. No. Just thanks for sharing your thoughts. A freaking Renee Garcia is a bot, man. Basically, a, bot. A, a textual middle finger is what I got back from USAA. <laughs> I don't know. You know what, man? It's... I gotta take I gotta take devil's advocate. Right, no, no, and I'm fine. And, and I gotta say is like, how much punishment would be enough punishment for people to forgive him for it? Right, right. I feel like <laughs> the only reason that a person should apologize is if they want forgiveness or if they want, you know, closure for themselves or whatever. And as far as punishment, how much punishment is it gonna take where we're like, Well, he received enough punishment, fine, let him play and I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, with yeah. Him. He uh, he did apologize, by the way. I mean, yeah. A little okay. too I mean a little too late, by the way. And then then he came back out and said, I only apologize cause Yep, because they made me Yeah, yeah. So yep. Um, and that's fair. Really, and, and like, I just wanted to send the you because I was like, I wonder what kind of responses I would get back from these companies, right? They don't care. They Whatever. don't care at all. No, in and the slightest, they and they shouldn't. Right, like, and it and it was just interesting. I was like, I'll do a little social experiment to see if, like, because like, I wasn't even in. I wasn't even looking for much. I just wondered if they would like address what I actually said. <laughs> 
Or if I, and like, I just got like, thanks for your comments, CEO of customer relations. I'm like, the, the CEO of customer relations was just like, thanks for sending me an yeah. email. Get the F yeah. out of my I face. I don't know. I don't know, man. You, you sound, that's some hater maneuver right there. Like if you had done that to anybody else, I'd be like, wow, really? Yeah. Like what if I, like, what if somebody went to your job and was like, uh, I don't care for Jonas or, you know, I hear he has a CD past and I'm not going to use this company services because well, right. Jonas works there. Well, right. And that, and that, I knew that that's what was happening. <laughs> I, I, I just mean, literally, I it was literally a social experiment with somebody else's livelihood on the line. No, it was to see what the companies had to say. Yeah, but still, you use somebody else's reputation. Okay, hold on. Impossible. In my defense, for the social experiment, yes, that man's contract is guaranteed. I mean, okay. So even if he got fired from the NFL, he's still making a quarter of a billion dollars. He'll be all right. I mean, whether you're taking pennies out of out of uh, a pond of money or you're taking a dollar out of my wallet. It's still, you still will affect that man's pockets or somebody else's power attempting to, I should say. Yeah, I guess I'm a terrible person. I'm not saying you're a terrible person. No, no, I, 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 I was fine with the social experiment. <laughs> I, I, I own up to it. I was just curious what, what the companies would say, right? Yeah. Like, it's it, a it's bad almost... face social experiment because if you had done that with like, I don't know, the person behind the desk. No, and I wouldn't. Yeah, and, and it wasn't, I wasn't saying like this. I just said. You guys are at, you guys are sponsors of the NFL and uh, the Browns, and uh, here's this thing that happened, and you're supporting them, and I don't like that, and and, and I'm not going to use your services just to see what sort of customer service. Here here is the, here's the thing, and, and it's more like because I mean I have I have a I have a, my my education is in business, so like part of me was like how how do you respond to these customer interactions right because. <laughs> that way, the way they yeah, answered yeah, yours. More, but like my, it was more like, do they even recognize, like what you're saying, and just say, you know, you know, hey, I understand your position. No, you Unless, know, what, and if you don't come to them with like a petition with thousands of signatures, right, right, or you know, like on mass, then they they're not gonna care about one person not liking it because either you'll you'll stick to your guns or you won't. If you don't. Eh. Then we didn't we didn't do anything and we got what we wanted. And if you leave, that's all right. Somebody else will come along. Yeah, and that and that's basically the point of what I was trying to say with it is like, it it the comp companies nowadays don't really care. Um, I mean, like I said, not about your small little single person revolution. Um, but yeah. if you came with like a group of signatures, if you gave a shit enough to actually get the people, oh god, I don't care at all. To, like that. No. If you, yeah, okay. So if you gave enough no. of shit to get that many people together to make them care, then that's a different. Yeah, story. I'm not. I'm still gonna watch the Browns. Yeah, because like, like there's definitely been like those little Twitter rallies where people are like, oh, we're not messing with this country, you know. But you know, like Nestle, Nestle is on a lot of people's shit list because of the child labor and stuff. Right, right. Well, and the, and the thing that like their Nestle Pure Water like isn't really pure water, so yeah. then they end up taking their brand off. They yeah. just rebranded as Pure Water without Nestle on the bottom. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh lord, that's shady. Yeah, that is shady. Um, and, uh, and it's like even they have refused to change a lot of their practices yeah. because oh, absolutely. it's like no, we're not doing it. No, man. Because here's the thing: we got enough products out there where we're gonna recoup whatever you decide not to buy from the, us. NFL is a money making machine. I mean, yeah, there's and, lots of them. And by and by advertising and and putting stuff on their programming, you are gaining a lot of customers. So if you got a handful that are pissed because you're advertising on a company that supports people who do whatever, they're like, <laughs> it's it's like the uh, it's allegedly. like it's like allegedly. <laughs> they're, that's like uh, car companies are like when they do that cost benefit analysis of like what's it going to cost to do a recall or yeah. what's it going to cost to pay out these people when we murder them in our car <laughs> yeah like which is it's it's like it's one of my favorite fight clubs <laughs> it is it's my and uh fight clubs and, and it's it's like company it's 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 crazy because the value of like human at human level from corporation is like number just number they don't care oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. unless like you said unless there's like a twitter uproar or, or a social media movement where you where like they're getting bombarded and their social you know all their stuff and like yeah so it's just it was i was just curious like if and what they would say what they would reply or whatever and it was it was uh well, i was please basically, don't do a social experiment with my job all right i would never do that 
It, it was. It was. You the, literally did. It, it was a Karen test. You oh, but, but you were the Karen. In theory. You, what are you talking about? You still committed the crime. I, I don't care. You still. You still did it. I mean, that's all right. Oh, nothing okay. happened. Right, and granted. Good. Yeah, like, like, yeah, dude. I would like never like go to like the Seven Eleven at the corner and then have a back and then go back up there on Monday and be like, you know. Shauna was working here this weekend. She was really rude to me. I wanted to let you know I'm never coming back here again if Shauna's working. And then you just hide in the bushes in the morning when her boss comes in. Yeah, Shauna, can I talk to you in my office, please? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just like hiding in the bushes. I got her, yeah. No, Social dude. experiment. <laughs> Social experiment. <laughs> All right, Jonas. Oh, Lord. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to uh, like and subscribe and uh, go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Oh, uh, yeah.